Um, it's been a terrific year. We did not see it coming. The That's beginning all. of the year was going to be a bang for Everybody. all of us. Yep. And um, you know, <laughs> life just happened to everybody. everybody. Like At nobody, the same time. nobody. It was left out, yeah. So it's been a great year, Kama saw me. And we are grateful, I mean, we are grateful you are currently watching this. Yeah. We are sure. thankful you are alive. We can't but thank God that we are all alive today. Welcome to another episode of Three Girls and a Camera. Today we're going to be talking about lockdown, the highs, the lows and the middles. Mm. Don't go nowhere, we'll be right back. How are you dancing, Shoki? So guys, it's been a year of Corona. I mean, it's been a colonial era. It's been all shades. This has taught us too many things. I mean, in our personal lives, in our families, in our workplace, everywhere. And we can't just but be thankful. I think that um, a lot of things that, that have happened to me during the whole um, lockdown period, I think that it, it somehow just made me feel like I needed Corona to okay. happen, or I needed like the world to stop for you, you know, for me to have to do those things. Um, for me, one of the major things that I like. I achieved mm -hmm. during the lockdown was like my I think I became extremely spiritual mm -hmm. so I mean not like I don't know God right but like you know how they say you know God like every other person knows God but you all you know God Experience. like you have a personal Experience. yeah mm -hmm. so I feel like I kind of bonded with the Lord even more and I, I mean like the relationship I have with him I couldn't have had it if I if, like if everything true. didn't stop, uh, you true. know. And it's more than how I how it used to be. Then beyond spirituality, I think I learned to um, consciously check on people. Um, that's not something I do regularly. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, I don't even carry my phone around. I'm not that kind of person. Um, I am very bad with communication, but like the whole everybody's at home, I had to like consciously reach out to people because then I realized that a lot of people were going through a lot yeah. and they were not talking, mm -hmm. you know, because they were at home. And then a lot of people needed people to reach out, reach to, out them, to them, you know. Um, so I, I, need to, I needed to consciously do that, especially with my parents. I realized that before lockdown, I used to talk to them like once a week. But like with the whole lot, I, I needed to speak to my mother because I need to be sure that you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Don't go and carry my lo coco runa for me. Don't go and carry rubbish. You know, so I needed to be speaking to my parents mm. every time, you know, my siblings, my relations and all of that. So my communication kind of got better. Like I also had to think about, you know, exploring how to, other sources of income and all of that. So I think the lockdown generally had a lot of good sure. things. Talk I about it now. Lockdown changed all my plans for 2020. I had like I had to think up a lot of things in because I it was like everything stopped. So mm -hmm. I had to keep my life going in some way or another. You know, I even reconnected with like people that I've not spoken to in a very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, so <laughs> So I think for me, oh, uh, my gains from the lockdown were, I'll put that 70%. Mm, nice, nice, great. I think my primary lesson from everything that has happened this year is man proposes, God disposes, God disposes yeah. man. I had plans. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's good to live in the now, be grateful for what you currently have and 
never procrastinate mm. if that is um, something you've been doing. Uh, lastly, I think this period has helped me realize the meaning of essential. Mm. Yeah, because I trust me. When they said essential services, at the beginning, it didn't make sense. But later, mm. I began to understand the meaning of essential. Mm. I am closer to my family than before. Yeah. Like, we are in each other's faces every time video call. Even the ones that were busy for video call. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm at work. I can't talk now. We talk, like, almost every, every time. time. We're in each other's faces. We are close. We're closer than we were. Okay. And lastly, lastly, lastly. Anything can happen at any goddamn like, time. That's 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 anything. I think that was the most scary thing Even about the lockdown. As bad as death, it can happen at mm-hmm. any goddamn time. Bori, what did you learn from coronavirus? Okay, so my spiritual life at the beginning, just let me know like at the beginning, my spiritual life was like really, really good. And then Corona brought a very good special friend for me funny enough and i think that was like my best part of everything because it's it's um made the effect of the whole lockdown a little bit less on me because not so many things changed for me it my life had always been a stay in mm-hmm. like from work come back home and i'm home till the next day when i'm going to work so like yeah. not so many things changed for me my com- i've always been a texting person so that, that really didn't change i was still like texting the people i call i still call them and all of that i was so i'm not a um online i'm not an online um person so i could not take courses because mm. before the lockdown i had like plans mm-hmm. or oh, these are the courses or oh, spoken to, to take, those yeah. people and then they're like we can't have one-on-one classes anymore it has mm, to be online. online me i know myself that i cannot sit down in front of computer and be learning mm. especially when i'm paying i might as well go sit down in front of youtube so i'm like ah i'm not going to so like it it's it changed a lot of plans that i had i had to make i was going to learn how to finally drive but i could not move around as we don't want you know interaction so like mm. all of those things stop. so there are so many things that stop um then i think a little challenge started and, yeah, and yeah, i like, was, I like I, to prepare like so like, good one for i like to prepare myself for um prayer sessions like that so before the earlier challenge started i'd already started my own prayers then it started then after again i continued prayer so it was like a very good time for my spiritual because on a regular day like on a weekday for a Leah challenge, I'll be like, ah, just work the next day. Do I really want to stay up for mm. this thing? But I knew that nothing really changed. I can still wake up the next day by a particular time and work more continues. Mm, so yeah. So um it's helped my um spiritual okay. life, made me closer to God. Um what else really happened? It made me real see, to be honest, uh, it's not like I'm now very stiff or what's the word i'm not like when somebody died like you don't really feel it so what's mm. that? <laughs> and I, like that's not that's not how i am because a lot of people say oh when they, when someone's loved one dies then they don't begin to feel anything when other people die that's not how it is for me but with this whole lockdown thing it was just like people were just dying and after a while i was not feeling it anymore like i was just like very i'm looking for, i can't i can't find that word but that was how i was i was just very indifferent that's I'm gonna be like dead to it. So like mm. they say somebody dies and I'm like, this is now becoming like a be So let's just mm. like even when like it it even happened to everybody. Initially the numbers would be saying, hey, nobody like, no, nobody even check for I'm not even sure. Is there anything this is due? Yeah, yeah, so- nobody checks this thing anymore. Like everybody just moved on with life that mm. this is not like our no. new normal mm. that kind of thing so i don't know i mean Still, speaking of mm. like pain during the lockdown i think that like at some point i became very overwhelmed with this like the number of deaths and people yeah. living i remember i shut down from everything I at some point so many times i, I was taking breaks from social media because down. i could not breathe like yeah. it was just very like it was tiring like, where people were dying from corona people were Different just stories and people were it was it was terrible i think uh, 
and, and, and for me, being an emotional person, mm -hmm. for some of those deaths that I don't even know them, I think yeah, right. Sure. True. Okay. Yes, to be honest. There was a time that I think made me shut up. Which one? Ibi Duni. Yes. I, yeah, I, I, I was made me shut up. There was a particular corona person, apart from Ibi Doon, there was another person, I can't remember who it was again. Like, and I might have said, I don't even know who this person is. If not because they mentioned your name, I don't even know who To be are. honest, before that time, mm -hmm. I had known about Elizabeth R, but I never knew the owner. Right, it was don't care that me was, I was thinking about. That's so the thing. Was when she died, I knew their relationship. No, me, I had no, 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 a whole lot of people to die that it wasn't even corona related. Yeah, and that, that, and that like, was not corona no, it wasn't, related. It wasn't. That was a, like a whole lot of people died, and it was later my mom sat me down. We're talking about it because it was one of my shut down moments. I locked mm, myself away, okay. so she came to console me and all that. And she's like, "Do you realize that on a regular day people die?" Yeah. But it might just be yeah. overwhelming because we're all you're at home, home. Yeah. and you're actually conscious of your environment. You're living you know? the same life every day. And the fact that you're even extra conscious now because you know that anything can lead to your death, mm. that's probably why you are spiked. You look at people around you and you're like, okay, grateful to have them I'm happy around. you guys are around me. Check on your loved ones because God forbid though. That don't want to be the last time you want to talk to them. Because me, me, because that's what you. That's what you have left. I'm a them. fan of keeping and saving. Me. I love to take pictures, take videos. I, I, I just really love it. So I just realized that now, like, take more pictures, have memories with those that you love. Like, have because during this lockdown, we lose memory of my phone. What do me? Oh, do me go. And it just, it, it's made me miss a lot of things. I like to, you miss a particular person, you can't reach out to them for reasons beyond your, you just have memories of them that mm. keep you happy at that moment. And beyond all, all of this, right, um, there's the part where um, we, we were working from home. I think that was the hardest to adjust. Why I say it was hard was because I'm used to wake up in the morning, dress up, which okay, is that and when that I come hard. back, I've literally shut down work. No, right okay. now, so, no, right no, now, no, 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 I start Still, working. Okay. I'm going to bed. I'm thinking, oh, I need to do this and go back to my laptop like 10 p.m. And somebody is, is behind you now. You know, somebody is sending me somebody is, somebody is sending me email at 10 a.m. and writing even work or dead on a okay, Saturday. So aside that, you know, aside, aside, aside that, that time. Time. I think it's it's become better now because yes, they only people are better. It. it got better. That first month was terrible. It was so funny, mm. and then maybe because of our, our nature of men, job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like a lot of people were going digital, so it's there was a lot of work. Everybody wants to prove why, why? they are working, so they come to us oh to help God. them. Prove. It was that first few months. <laughs> then we had to send communications out every time, like a lot a lot of things were going on. I mean, so what are the games you guys have learned from coronavirus aside the... Yes. Coronavirus brought babies. People were getting married. Fam. Born children. They've not even started <laughs> going. Guy, I was even just going they to say that. Like, I, was, I was even just going to say that one of the games, or one thing that I feel like they've Corona not does, I feel like one thing that... Burning children everywhere. I think it has also taught people that you can have a small wedding and nobody will die. Mm -hmm. You can't know. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody will die. Mm -hmm. You will literally just be with your um, spouse. spouse. You family. just be happy and everybody is yeah, family, family, happy. Go. At least now, my mother and her friends can see reasons why we can have a parlor wedding. Hello, hmm. ma. Hello, ma. You cannot do parlor wedding. Where I go stay? This is what we are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very sure you are on my side. I'll be mommy. I know. We really allow for our wedding. It's not possible. It's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> the parts of lockdown that I think was 
mm, like it was I don't know for me mm. was that knowing that a lot of people were at home and they were struggling to feed. He eats me. She. That one. Lots of what happened? Because you know that I was struggling. At the beginning, a lot of people were having those kind of protests. Oh, we can't stay at home. We want us to go hungry. Then nothing was heard again. Nothing because can what be done. They want to, because what nothing they want can. Be, this thing just it left was, a lot of people jobless. Oh man, mm, bro, not just Nigeria. You know, I, another thing was another thing was like, and then everybody came out of lockdown mm. and. Even, did they even have to come out of lockdown? Some people got Just their letters on. from home. When you their, say letters, their sack sack letters. letters. A lot of people. So, you know, like last week, my sister was like telling me that, that you have jobs. To be honest, my sister was telling me. Was my sister that was telling me that you're my cousin last mm-hmm. week that a friend of hers they took sixty percent of her salary. That's a lot. Sixty percent. I'm like, what is the net exchange? Because what exactly? That's and then and they're still telling a person to come to work. So I how know. do you want to imagine now that there's the third mainland bridge closure? Close. So this person is coming from mainland to the island. How do you transport yourself? I mean, even if even if the person is transporting themselves or herself or himself, mm-hmm. and the person is working from home, how do you buy data? Because data is another thing. You're using mm-hmm. like extra data mm-hmm. now that you are home. Mm-hmm. So they take sixty percent of your salary. How right. exactly are you living? Makes no sense. It's crazy. I think it brings us to the point of business continuity. Continuity. Yeah. A lot of organizations need to adopt it. Mm Yeah. Because trust me, it has worked for some, Mm -hmm. and some don't even have it. That's why you hear some top tier industries are shutting down. They're closing Mm -hmm. up and all of that. And you're wondering, guy, I thought you guys were big and you could cope. Well, you now see the small scale that have business continuity in mind and mm-hmm. they're doing well with themselves. Yep. Another deal. thing is, um, you know, for those who never thought that savings was a thing or investment, was my dear, savings is a thing. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. But savings is a thing. Do you think people saved is more this period? <laughs> I did. I, mean, I, I did too, but I don't saved during this period. I saved I think more. Saved during this more. Period. Yes. Okay, I did save more. By saving, what do you mean? Like keeping your money more? Mm. Or, like you save more or money than save, you, or you are wait, saving wait, wait. money that in, in a particular not... place. Okay, so let me explain. Is it that piggy, for instance, like are you keeping more money there? Yes. Or you you're not spending as much as you spend on a regular day. Is it, and so it's the same it's like, the same because thing. I'm not spending as much money as I spend on a normal day. I'm keeping, I'm keeping it in that place. Okay, that's what you mean. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then even investments I think I did. Yeah. Even though investments, even even though um, I'm sorry, I did not. Why? Because things are chopping my money. In case you have money to give me, me, I'm such a all older. That no, I, no, I think. But well, I think a whole lot of people in, in also did a lot of impulse buying. Yeah, the for impulse, example, the first the first few months. Do you know what happened that day? I cannot even forget about because I bought my vina. So I my vina. Uh, wait now, I've not spent my money in like two months. And then when I eventually left the house, I was so happy to finally come out of even though I chopped for, for leaving the house. So when I finally got out of the house, I was buying you know, like you know where you are, they, are, they take you shopping. Like mm. allergy say, take anything you want, I'll I pay. Allergy. That's, it's, not, it's not like that they do take anything okay. you want. So I went and you I was picking want. things without checking price. Do you know what wow. it's made for you to be buying things and not check price? I was that was what made me buy pack of ribena. <laughs> Which type? The small. Bottle? But yeah, seven five. I said, what am I drinking? The ribena. <laughs> I'm buying ribena. <laughs> Did you take it? Yes, no. Why did you check at the counter? No, that's what I'm saying. That you were because proud. Because I had not spent money in a long. I was so happy to finally spend my money. So when I got there, I never say check it. Every man. So when they gave me, so your bill is so so and so. I pack everything. I'm like, ah, my card. okay, it's not so much after all. Two weeks after. Take. I mean, when you reach I now reach my. I say, wait, look at all the things that I bought. What's the thing that took the bulk of this money? And I say, Ribena. I guess they share the Ribena. Because to start with, I'm not, I don't even drink the Ribena like this. <laughs> I mean, but, I feel like. I think that was like the, the first um, buy, like, impulse buy that I did. Then I really didn't buy anything. Not close. All the clothes that I bought at the to. beginning of this lockdown, I had plans that maybe like after two months we can now go. So I bought some kind of a shell clothing that I can be wearing now. But you see now, I went from like size eight 
to a size mm. four. So they don't even fit me anymore. Mm. And they do me, yard me. sales. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brings me to like health-wise <laughs> lockdown. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like for me, health-wise, I was able to like watch my diet. Majorly because did you, did you start exercise. Majorly start because exercise like again. majorly because like <laughs> are you with this now? <laughs> majorly because like I was I was um conscious of not blowing up. I, I, I just don't want to be fatter than what I used to be. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because no money for clothes. <laughs> <laughs> there's no money for clothes. You know, there's that. And then there was a part where I felt like um, my tummy was leading, paving way for me, for my generation. <laughs> I felt like my stomach was opening the road. So I needed this to grow within, not with outside. You know, so I started exercising mm-hmm. every day. Thank God without trying to go to the uh-huh. gym. I think about the gym. Mm. Mm. Yeah, people were um, clamoring that they should open road where they won't go have one with courses. <laughs> oh, true. That's when they did, that's when they did like, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. Mm. Lockdown. No, that was, that was, it's true. We had two weeks of nowhere, no going in. No God, my, mo- my mother was paranoid. If you enter my house, you first see bucket. She built a bucket tap. Mm. Me, my house. From the beginning, before they even started lockdown, from the beginning, no My mother out, was no paranoid. <laughs> you, as if anybody comes to the house, like obviously there were some essential services that needed to come to the house. Mm. Like, you go bath. Then you wash your You go as in, hmm. she go tell you, and I, and I, she, and she go to dispense the soap for you. I know. Oh yeah, anything you wash her. Anything we buy. They wash her. You yeah. wash it, or even egg. We are washing even everything, egg. man. We are even washing. Even egg. We are washing everything that comes in. Even oh. pure water. <laughs> Bottle or granite, we go wash them. Egg, we that go that, wash that was, I mean, I mean, when we grow, when we grow older, and we have yeah. a story to tell our kids. And our parents ask, mommy, I had about 2020. How was it? I'll first sit down. That's a one. Grab a one. 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 <laughs> we have a story. I have a seat, my dear. We have a story. Even the whole, even the whole um, using sanitizers and wearing nose masks, like that thing was a whole different. I level. think the first, the first, the whole, a whole different level of change for me. The other like, thing about that, I didn't really, forget. I didn't really like, do it because right, I was not leaving my house. Like when I leave, I'll, I'm almost getting. I always have a mask, mask inside my car. I'm not, I don't have mask. I always I have, have a mask because I'm so paranoid. You can't even sleep because with me. there was car mask, bag mask, everywhere mask because just mm-hmm. in case you can forget it at any point in time. At that point, like. I, when, when we started going out, I was so paranoid. But the other bit must be around me. For me, was touching my face. Guy, I didn't know how, how much I used to touch my face until they told until, me to stop touching our face. Yeah, but then I got used to it eventually. It was quick for me because I don't make up. So. Baby, even with the no makeup, now like this how they do. Mm. We all don't make up. But it's a test. Everybody's a test. <laughs> I mean, yeah. a lot of slangs came out of. I love Nigerians, guys. They make jokes like, out of everything. Out of everything. <laughs> a lot of slangs <laughs> came out of Corona. Everything. Corona is outside. Corona is outside. Ah, that time when they did the, the uh, coffee thing that yeah. we were now doing memes on Twitter. Say thank God for the internet, guys. Imagine if there kept was us, no kept internet us, kept us or happy. smartphones. Kept us happy. Did you guys notice that at the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. a lot of people were down with some sort of fever? We were like six that had it in the office. Hmm. Did you notice? Should I mention names? Don't that mention people said they had, you had it, Santi. That huh? we said we had. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. In fact, when I went to the hospital, mm. the doctor said I had chest infection. Oh, yeah. She, it, it was one Seems like it's been last year. No, it was early this about. year because we've not been in the office a while ago. Yes. It was early this year, and it wasn't just me. I could count five people. Yes, a lot of my head. Like a lot of people were getting sick. So I'm not asking what it was, was cold. What? Oh, we thought it was the AC that we're not complaining. Yes. Like HR yes. that's so common. What if it was actually Corona? I don't get on me. Don't go be that. What you get here? What you eat? What you love? Because you know, you know. <laughs> now I'm saying that what you don't know won't kill you. Mm. I said I was speaking to a friend recently, and I'm like, ah, you are now going out, and it was like, see that if he goes for a test now, and they tell him that he has never had corona, he will be shocked because in his head now he feels like he has had it and he has and just he has gotten, gotten better, better with time. Mm. To be honest, a lot of people say, well, because apparently my friend had coronavirus. Mm. He lives in South Africa. Mm. And he said that day he was going out and he just sprayed his perfume. And if you know this Baba, 
So you could not smell it. Everywhere. I said, ah, why does he know the smell again? And that's how he lost the sense of smell. So how is he now? He's fine. He's oh, much okay. better now. Okay. He's way much better now. Okay. But there was nobody to take care of him because he refused to go to the hospital. So he got better on he his own? He got better on his own. So that's yes. like, so, I mean, this, these are like... Your but he was in pain. Near death experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Like, he was going to get drugs himself. So these are like your near co- coronavirus experience, right? So I think at the beginning, beginning of coronavirus, mm-hmm. like when, before the lockdown, I went to see a friend, <laughs> I went to see a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. In fact, I slept over at his place and his cousin came back from the abroad, right? <laughs> In a Virgin Atlantic flight, right? Don't I so go? wait, this was, this was how it happened. Like we're at home. Are you cure? I'm okay. Because we have so, seen that with oh, you for hours. Up for them. <laughs> so, <laughs> what happened was, we were, like, he came back, everybody, uh-huh. we were all cool and everything. Uh-huh. So, lockdown, like, it was, I think it was like two days later in the office. Because I had already told another friend of mine that, oh, my friend's cousin just came back and everything. Okay. So, while we were at the office, that one just came. She was even on the Twitter. Have you seen it? I said, what is that? I say, they say some people on Virgin Atlantic Air Flight. <laughs> See, <laughs> in the office, I literally said, I'm a bit more down. I was ready. I was, I was so paranoid. I had to call down my friend. And because he knew that I was paranoid, he, mm. didn't pick my, he knew that I was paranoid. Can you imagine? I was out of shame. Please, so call your cousin, no. Is he, is he in Virgin Atlantic flight? Can you call, can you call? You know? And this, this because this guy was so funny. He didn't call me back or text me back. And it wasn't that thing on purpose until like in the evening. I was so restless. Oh, he now oh. called me and I said, that he knew that I would be paranoid and everything that even him nearly had virgin that he, mm. that he called that his friend and his friend just that his cousin rather and his cousin was like no that that's not his own virgin Atlantic mm. you know and you know that's how we knew that nobody oh, had because they, they had to now check everybody on their own plane and then found out that everybody was one moment I don't de say God am I okay <laughs> I don't do <laughs> I think she almost had a corona experience that's why she didn't come for my birthday Oh yes, spicy. She apparently she was with someone that had corona, so she was scared because her test results hadn't come didn't out, come so out. she didn't want to come and scare me. That was mm. why. Mm. Well, I mean, shout out to everyone who has lost someone during this period. Yeah, shout Our out to thoughts you guys. are with you. Yeah. Um, may the souls of the departed rest in peace. Amen. Just keep it at the back of your head that those we truly love never leave us. True. They are stars. In the cloud, in the sky, and they're watching over you. It's <laughs> crazy, cloud. Which one? It's, it's all of them the same. same place. They're trying the same place. Yeah. <laughs> <Everyone goes there. laughs> but thank you guys for tuning in. We're happy you're alive. We're happy you're ill. We're happy you're ready. And if you're not too good, we pray for strong. Ill. Any corona? <laughs> I remember when this guy called us. I said, neighbor, neighbor. Uh, Eba. Eba. <laughs> <laughs> Eba was so paranoid, oh my God. God. When you called me, say, ha, but this thing is real. I said, please, do you have corona? Let me. <laughs> Eba was so paranoid. He refused oh to go my... anywhere. Oh my good God. I mean, you guys should let us know your coronavirus. Um, you yeah. have experiences. Experiences. You yeah. have people that had an experience. And, and most importantly, like, what, what, what did the whole lockdown thing do teach for you? you? What you did know, it teach did it, you? Were there more pains than there were gains? Like, did mm-hmm. you learn things? Was it a time for you to explore? And yada, 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 yada. yada, um, yada let's yada, know yada, yada, yada. down below, as always. Yada, 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 and yada, yada. please ensure to share this video with yada, your friends. Yada, 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 yada. Shekosi. I'm just sorry. sorry. Yada, 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 yada. You can like to continue what I was saying. Yada, 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 yada. She's tired, so... Thank you. Me? See you or next you. week. You. you like, comment, Down subscribe, video. share, and the jingle bell. The jingle bell. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs>